unmute. There we go. We got the unmute. Boom. We got the YouTube stream going. You could also tell I just had a bite of an apple. I picked it right up here out of the picture. We saw that right before we started. I picked it out of the picture, grabbed it. Can you believe it? I wish I could just reach up here right now and grab some broccoli. I could go in there. I could make maybe some steamed vegetables. I could have a salad. I like mixed nuts too when I'm hungry. Those are always good. And um, everybody, welcome to the workout. We are here. Ben put down the big mute and we got people joining in. We got folks in the waiting room. We got folks in the chat room, and I hope everybody, I hope all of you out there have your water. We got to make sure we have our water. We want to be hydrated before we start working out. You don't want to wait till it's too late and you're feeling like you're dehydrated or you're feeling like your mouth is dry or you're feeling like you just really need that water. That's already too late. You got to stay hydrated before that happens. If you're a team leader on here, remember today we were talking about doing a special workout where we're going to try to get all of the leadership involved and um, we're going to be doing a routine today. So this is going to be, we're going to do our warm up, and we're going to do it um, maybe a little bit short because what we want to do after that is bring up some leadership. And, but what we're going to do today that's different is we're going to, we're going to challenge all the leaders to do the same exercises, okay? So imagine that, imagine Byron trying to do Bernie's workout. Desiree, where's Bernie? Come on, Bernie, get in here. We got a surprise for her today and she's, yeah, right? She's lagging by, tell her I got a surprise for her. All right, everybody, it's all right. Bernie's gonna be on her way. And so what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to do those exercises. I'm gonna kick it off with that routine and then we're gonna invite uh, Bernie herself to do the routine. We're also going to be able to have Nick and Byron we're talking about doing the routine. Maybe you want to try the routine out. You know, we've done it so many times. I bet a lot of you are really good at it. Uh, and again, we'll talk about that in just a few more moments after we get our warm up going. Remember, if you're feeling hungry, you can get a snack. If you're feeling thirsty, you can drink water at any time. And if you want to participate in all these exercises, I want you to do that too. I'm going to be doing the moves. You're going to see me doing it. I'm here. I'm home. A lot of you are home. Some of you are at a program or at school. And you know what? I'm so happy that you're joining us right now because we're about to start a great workout. Uh, and again, we're going to get our good friend Bernie on here in just a little bit. We're going to practice that routine. Let's get that camera set up. Let's start by looking around the picture. We got a lot of images on the picture here. It's a lot of different fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of fruits above my head. There we go. We're going to bring a couple of fruits up hot. And so now let's go ahead and go side to side. We got the kiwis and the bananas. We got the carrots and the broccoli. Let's go ahead and move it from right side to left side. Oh, John, who's doing the breathing model? Oh, big good call. You're doing it now because you called it out. Uh, nice I, okay. <laughs> that's a that's a true leader right there Bill. okay all right wait a minute let let's uh there nice Five, four three two one breathe in the good breathe out the bad breathe in the happy breathe out the sad Breathe in your best, breathe out the worst. Breathe in your power so you can reach your goals first. Nice job, Ben. Awesome. Great way to kick it off. Again, Ben's bringing his top-notch awareness. He's also co-hosting with Carrie on this workout. Let me know if Karen gets on too. We'll add her up Karen's there. Here. The Karen's here. Karen's, Karen's on here. here. Oh yes. my gosh, we're gonna get we're gonna get her brought up. <laughs> in the pilot's booth. What is it? Pilot's booth, they call it the cockpit up there. That's where all the pilots are. And there we go. We got three co-hosts now. Hey, Brandon, what's up? Brandon's back in the house. Awesome. So good to see Brandon here. We got Lenny. Hey, Amor, welcome. Amor, Luz, Sulpizio Center, AC2, ADC. We got a great group on here today, everybody. And we are going to be doing a really neat workout. Um, I had some super special plan for our friend Bernie. She's still not here right now. She's probably getting her exercise stick and getting that kettlebell and getting everything all ready. Uh, but we're going to get started with our warm up. Uh, and then we're going to be practicing a routine today. We're going to do the same routine, but we're going to have different leaders uh, show us that routine. 
Uh, and I'll give you a hint, it's it's Bernie's routine. So she's got to get here. All right, everybody, here we go. We're going to go right to left. We're going to go over here. We got kiwi and a uh, carrot. Over here, we got the banana and the, the broccoli. Let's go ahead and look over this. So I'm going banana, broccoli. I got my head going over here to my right shoulder. I'm trying to sit up nice and tall. I'm trying to get my head up here in this kind of where this apple is. If I'm down here, that's not any good. I want to get up tall. There we go. So I'm going banana, broccoli, going over here, kiwi and carrot, bringing it over this way, banana, broccoli, bringing it over the other way, kiwi and carrot, bringing it back again, banana, broccoli, and over this way, got the kiwi and the carrot. Let's go one more time each direction. Which one's your favorite out of these two, banana or broccoli? You had to pick one of those two. Which one are you going with? And let's do the same thing on this side. If you got to pick one of these two, which ones are going to be kiwi or carrot? All right. Which one would it be? You got options. You got fruits and you got vegetables out of those two options. Which one would you pick? Before we brought these fruits up here, remember, we had a couple of pictures of some really unhealthy food and we had to switch it over to this because we just had to get our mind always thinking about good nutrition to match our fitness. Let's go ahead and go down and up. My camera just can't seem to have the right angle. I feel like I have to sit right here to get it to look straight. And I'm just, you see me, I'm messing around with this today. That's okay. It's on a little string right there. I got to get back in the, back in the studio, back in the studio with Nick here soon. All right, everybody. There we go. Let's go ahead and go down and up. So we're going to bring that chin down, bring it up against our chin right here. You can see the top of my hat right there. And then let's go ahead and bring it on up again. We're looking at the lettuce in the apple up here to the top. Hold it for three, two, one. Let's bring it on down again, back down. Make sure we didn't drop anything on the floor. What always falls on the floor, right? Grapes. Every time, right? Let's go ahead and bring it back up again. Maybe you have to, uh, the little cutie, um, you know, the little tangerines, the tangellos. Sometimes they're small. They fall on the floor. Let's bring it on down again. Looking down, checking the floor but we're not moving our head around. We're just keeping it right in the middle and then bringing it up. We're going to do some fun, fun movements in a minute, bringing it up, holding it up. Three, two, one, one more time going down. Everybody bring the head down, bringing it on down, holding it down. Three, two, one, bringing it up. There we go. Three, two, and one. All right. Let's go ahead and we're going to go all the way around. Remember, this is bok choy. We had this one up not too long ago. But let's go ahead and we're going to bring our head down and then back to the middle. And we're going to go to each one of these. And uh, again, we're just going to mention what it is. So again, we got down here, we got the almonds. So that's going kind of down into the right side. We got down to the right, we got almonds. Back into the middle. Down kind of over this way to the right again, but just up a little bit. We got the bananas. Back into the middle. Now I'm going up this way. Look at my chin. It's kind of up higher now. And I'm going at the broccoli. Back, then, back into the middle. I went too far. Now we're going up to the bok choy, like I'm trying to look up at that bok choy and then bringing it right back into the middle. Now I'm going up like I'm looking up at that lettuce, looking straight up like it's just right above me right there and then bringing it back down to the middle. Now let's go over here to the apple. Again, looking right up at that apple, back down to the middle. Let's go over here to these peppers. Let's check out those peppers. Which one's your favorite pepper out of the bunch? Do you have a favorite, a red, a yellow, or the green pepper? Back into the middle. Let's go over here to the kiwi now. We're looking kind of straight across to the left and then bring it back into the middle. Let's go for that carrot, kind of looking down a little bit now. And then we're going right back here into the middle. And the last one we have is gonna be those tomatoes where we're kind of looking down into the left, holding it there. And then three, two, one, bring it right back up into the middle. Nice job. Remember when you're trying to get some good head movements and neck movements, um, one thing you can do, remember, is you can just okay. look around the room. You can find spaces around the room. You can find places that you want to spot. Look at our co-host doing a great job. And Bernie's here. She is here in the house. Bernie, welcome to the workout. I got a surprise for you today. I think you're going to like it. I got inspired by Nick the other day, and I said, you know what? We're going to do uh, something neat with our friend Bernie today. So, Bernie, uh, make sure you're staying hydrated because we're going to be doing your workout. But uh, I'm also, we're all going to do the workout. You're going to see, it's going to be fun. Uh, we've done a little bit of warm up, And next up, let's go ahead and do the ear lift. So let's pretend that we got an ear going. For me, it's going to be, uh, uh, here we go. I got my, 
ear going to the apple. So it's my left ear. You can see my shoulders going down to these tomatoes. Ears going up to the apple. Hold it up there. Three, two, one. Nice job. Back into the middle. All right, here we go again. Now that my ear's going up to the lettuce. Got my ear getting pulled up to the lettuce. There we go. It's tough for me to do too. I'm doing it kind of funky because I'm trying to also make sure you can kind of see the ear lift. And to work with this camera is just strange. Three, two, one, bringing it right back into the middle. Let's bring it up again. There we go. Oh, I got a good stretch now. Now that I did the first one, my muscles really felt this out. And now I'm getting a nice stretch through here. Bring it back. Three, two, one. And then let's bring this one up, bring it up. Oh, you can see. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. We wanted to see how, again, that muscle is stretching out. And then when I bring the shoulder down, oh, great job. Three, two, one. Nice job. All right. One more to go. We got giraffe head, turtle neck. <clears throat> I want to check something on here. They'll make sure. Yeah, we do. We got all that set up nice. Okay, we're going to go giraffe head, turtle neck. I think the giraffe would like the broccoli uh, in the turtle as well. So we're going to go that direction. So, again, if I'm sitting down, if I'm hunched over, what I want to do is try to engage some core muscles. Take a deep breath. Try to sit up a little taller. Take another deep breath. Kind of maybe bring those shoulders. You can see I brought my shoulders back into it. Absolutely, Bernie, you know you can. Uh, yep, and so now that I'm in a good position, let's get in that good position. We're gonna keep everything here still, and we're gonna go bring that head out. Giraffe neck, bring it out. Three, two, one, now let's bring it back. Turtle neck, nice job, I can see you doing it. Three, two, one, let's go. Giraffe head out, holding it out. Three, two, one, and bring in the head back. Bring it in back with the turtleneck. I can feel it back here. Three, two, one. Let's bring it out again. One more time for the giraffe, bringing it out. And then one more time, bringing it back. Three, two, and one. Nice job, everybody. Ooh. Oh, that's a very good question. Nick, what do you think? How long do you think the giraffe head and neck are? How long? Do I have a picture of a giraffe? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know. Remember when you don't know something, your shoulders go up. You're like, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Let's go ahead and do a couple I don't knows. Who, who knows? Who does know? Maybe, some, maybe one of you is a giraffe expert and you're thinking, I'm not bringing my shoulders up. I got my, my shoulders saying, hey, I know. Um, let's see. I thought I had a picture of giraffe. I don't think I did. I was looking for one. I got, a, I got that swimming pig. No, no giraffe. That's all right. We were all just giraffes. We know what a giraffe looks like. But again, remember, when we don't know, we just bring up those shoulders. We lift that trapezius. Let's bring them up. Let's do a couple of the trapezius lift going up and down with just the both arms going up and down. And then I think after this, we're going to do Carrie's bear hug. We're going to get our arms moving. Instead of up and down, we're going to go forwards and kind of backwards, too, if you think about bringing those shoulders back. So this is up and down. Now let's bring our arms. If you can, bring your arms kind of up to about maybe your, you know, chest level here. And we're going to bring our arms all the way across our body. If we can, we're going to go ahead and maybe give yourself a squeeze. And then you're going to bring those elbows back. You're going to try to bring those elbows. If you got a chair rest behind you like this, a backrest, maybe tap it with your elbows. If you don't have anything back there, just bring those elbows back. And then let's bring them across again. So we're going to do about four more of these. Give it a squeeze and then bring it back. Here we go. Bringing it back. Bringing it across, and you can change up if you want. You can change up which arm goes on top and which arm goes on the bottom every single time. Here we go. Nice job. Here we go. Bringing it back, bringing it across again. Let's go two more. I know I said four, but I think this is five. That's okay. Nice job, everybody. Lori Lee, great job. There you go, Tim. There we go. Yeah, Lorraine, great job. And, of course, Carrie, she's got this one good. Carrie's bear hug. All right, the next one is, I know Bernie wants us to have a water break. Bernie, isn't that right? I saw Bernie thinking, you know what? Coach John better have a water break. Let's do it, everybody, water break. Now, already I'm feeling the muscles in my neck. I'm feeling the muscles kind of in my upper back. All around, all around this part of my body, my shoulders, my chest, and even kind of starting to get my core a little bit involved. Let's go ahead and... Focus kind of still on the shoulders. I'm going to lean back here a little bit. If I sit back in my chair, it gives me a little space here. It's got a table here. And you might have something around you too. You might have to work around that. But let's go ahead and work on just an elbow lift. So let's go over. 
bringing our elbow up to the side, bring it down. Let's bring that elbow up in front. Let's bring it down. Let's try to bring that elbow into the middle, bring it down. Now let's switch over to the other side, going into the middle. Then we're going up. Then we're gonna go out. Maybe can we go backwards too? Can we go back? Yeah, let's do it. Let's add backwards. So we're gonna work those elbow positions. So let's start it again. I'm gonna start on this side. I'm gonna go backwards. I'm gonna go up. We're gonna go up in front. And then we're gonna go across. And then with the other arm, let's go across. Let's go up in front. Let's go out to the side and then backwards. All right, let's try that again one more time. And again, you can go at your own speed. And then we're going to do it with our arms extended. So we're going to go backwards elbow. We're going to go side elbow. We're going to go front elbow. And then we're going to go across with the elbow. Let's go again across with the other elbow. We're going to go front. We're going to go side. And then we're going to go backwards. Nice. Now let's do that with our arms in a reach style position. So to go backwards, you could go a couple different ways, but it'll be maybe behind your head backwards or behind your back backwards. You wanna try it both? Let's try it out. So let's try it out. So here we go. So let's go behind our back with the backwards reach. You can see I'm touching the green screen here. We can reach down and back or any kind of backwards is gonna be good. So down and back this way. Then let's reach up and back, going this way. Then let's reach over to the side. Just reach an arm out to the side. Now let's reach our arm out in front. What else can we do? Reach our arm straight up overhead. Bring it out. What about going across the body? Nice. So let's go with the other side. Let's go across the body. Nice job. There we go. Let's go up over the head. Nice. We're bringing it down. We're going out in front. Good stuff. We're going to go out to the side. And then we're going to go ahead and again go. I'm going well, I'm behind the back. I should have gone up top. You're right. And now I'll get the up top behind. Okay, let's try it one more time. Again, go at your own speed. Um, you don't have to go too fast and you don't want to do this too fast. You want to think about each direction that we're moving to. So here we go. So I'm going to reach up and I'm going behind me. You can see I can tap myself on the back of the head. All right. Now I'm going to reach down in behind me. Like I'm trying to maybe, you know, again, reach down here for any food that fell down on the ground. Now I'm gonna bring my arm in. Now I'm gonna reach my arm out to the side. Let's do a little circle out that way. Let's do a little arm circle with the arm out to the side. Nice job, let's bring it in. Let's reach out in front, let's go out in front. Let's do a little wrist movement with it out in front. Maybe some up and down, maybe some side to side, maybe a little bit of rotation, okay? Again, wiggle the fingers, nice, bring it in. Let's go ahead and go up over our head. What about maybe doing that tricep extension? That, so we're kind of combining the behind and back. There we go. Let's reach up again one more time. Let's bring it back down. What about going across our body like we're doing a high five to a friend? Let's try that out. Let's go three of those. One, high five, two, and three. Let's switch over to the other side like we're receiving that high five. Here we go. One, you're getting your own high five now. Two, and three. Let's bring this other arm up over our head. And again, we're going to go down behind our head. Maybe do three times on this one, kind of doing a tap on the back of the head too. And three, nice job, bringing it down. What do we have? We're going out to the side. Oh, we're going in front, in front. Yeah, you caught me, nice job. In front and we're doing the wrist movements, wiggling the fingers, side to side movement and rotation. A lot of things we can do with the wrist, bring that arm in. Now we're going out to the side and we're doing the circle. Good job. I saw a couple of you and did the right thing. You went in front. Remember, there is a pattern that we're working on to this. All right. And for the last ones, let's go three times each direction. Let's go with a behind the top reach, behind the back reach, behind the top reach, behind the back reach. Behind the top reach, last one, and then behind the back reach. Nice job, everybody, good job. Everybody, let's have a water break. Orders from our friend and team leader, Bernie. Let's do a time check, we're doing great. All right, we're gonna start moving into a little bit of the, the real fun stuff. Let's go ahead and do uh, one exercise for the core that really does it all. And I'm gonna give us a new challenge today 
and it's going to be the witch's pot, but I'm going to give us a new challenge. If you're able to stand up, I want you to do this one standing up in that witch's pot position. But we're going to witch's pot, and we're going to do it not just in front of our body, but also want us to go up high up overhead and down low. So if you're sitting down, we're going to be kind of reaching up. All right. Imagine like we're in front of like a chocolate waterfall and you got to stir it. You got to stir it as it's coming over the waterfall. Now, Lorraine's got it down. Nice job, Lorraine. And then when we reach down low, we're going to stir up and you might have to, again, you got to go down kind of like over your knees. If you're standing up, I want you to get down low and do a good low squat with that one. So, all right, here we go. I'm going to scoot back a little bit and we're going to go ahead. Let's start off with our traditional witch's pot, which was just going out in front. We go out and back. Let's do five of these. Here we go. Five. Nice job. There we go, everybody. Four. Next one's going to be the, the high up, which is the, we're going to call it the chocolate waterfall coming out of like we're at a chocolate factory. Here we go. And now we're going to switch it up and I'm going to switch direction. So here we go. So now we're going up and we're still reaching forward. And then we're still coming back to here. So look, when I go forward, I'm reaching my arms up and then bringing them back. Forward, reaching up, bringing them back. Up, and there you go. Kind of up over your head. You can tell I'm going up over my head right here. And bringing them back. Now let's rest here in this position. Now let's go down low. So I'm going down low to the ground. This is almost kind of like the body circle combined with the witch's pot, right? You see that? Now we're getting low, we're moving in our hips, and we're also stirring up. I'm going down and out, up and in, down and out, up and in. Let's do one more low, and then we're going to go, you're going to go free movement. Now what I want us to do is you can follow me if you want to. I'm going to be moving in different directions with the witch's pot. Um, or you can do your own movement, and we're going to go for 20 seconds with no count on how many we do. All right, it's just that's a different way. You can always do your exercises, do them for time. So we're going to go in three, two, one, and here we go. Let's get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Oof. Wow. Again, feel the difference. Feel how your core, when you really are, when you're reaching up and even when you're reaching down, all of those movements, you're going to be engaging your abdominal muscles. You're going to be engaging your core, your erectors, the muscles that help to strengthen that spine. You're going to be engaging them and using the weight of our arms to kind of help promote uh, that resistance. And that's going to help to make us strong from all the way from our hips all the way up to our fingertips. I like a good rhyme. Let's have a sip of water and let's do a breath hold coming up next. And then I am going to start off Bernie's workout challenge. This is going to be real fun, everybody. And I tell you what, I got inspired by Nick when he did Coach Emily's meditation the other day. If you missed it, you got to get on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, now you know what to do after this is go watch Nick's part of last Friday's workout with Coach Emily, and it was incredible. It was incredible, and I'll just leave it at that. All right, everybody, so a sip of water. We're going to do a breath hold, and then we're going to do smile and frown. We haven't got some smiles and frowns in a, in a few days, it feels like. You should be smiling all the time, though, right? Let's go ahead and do our breath hold. Let's go for... Um, a, 15 second breath hold, 15 seconds. And we're gonna do it our traditional way. So that's in and out, in and out, in and hold. Here we go, in three, two, one. Breathing in, relax. Breathing in again, relax and out. Breathe in with confidence, you got this. Breathe in and hold. And exhale. Nice job, everybody. I saw a lot of folks. You can tell when somebody's holding their breath sometimes. And I can tell a lot of you are trying, again, 
It's just one of those ways that we can connect with our body in such an important way, again, through oxygen. Uh, it's incredible. What's another way you can do a super great connection with your body? Again, it's one of the it's one of the ways that you can tell your body, like, body, I really care about you. I really appreciate you, and I want you to be the best body you can be. Hydration and healthy foods. That's our. Those are our our staples in life. Those are the things that are going to help our body, and we want to give our bodies every opportunity that we can. And these are the ways that we're really going to do it. Everybody knows about good, good nutrition and healthy drinking, drinking lots of water. And sometimes it, you know, it's easy to make, you know, a different decision like the unhealthy fried foods and things like that. Um, I don't even want to put that picture back up again. That, the mustache on that taco, it, it was, it was spooky. Makes me never want to have a taco like that again. But again, remember, healthy foods, healthy foods are where it's at. That always makes me smile. It always makes me feel good. Let's go ahead and put on a big smile. Look at look at on here. Think about what these foods can do for you and look at them. And let's have a big old smile. Let's smile at each one of these foods. So let's go ahead. We're going to do I'm going to smile. I'm going to look down at the at the uh, almonds here. Give them a smile. And then I'm going to bring it back to the middle. Let's go to the bananas. Smile, smile at the bananas. Let's smile at the broccoli. All right, let's go. Let's smile up at the bok choy. Doesn't get the love it deserves. Let's frown about the fruits not getting the love they deserve. And the vegetables, it makes you sad. When the vegetables go bad, right? That makes you sad. Or when the fruits, when they get the little spot on them, you're like, I don't want to eat that now. And you're like, well. when you get fresh fruit, what is it? You make you get happy again, right? So let's think about again the lettuce and the apple and how great that would make you feel if you could eat some lettuce and some apple right now. That's good. How you can tell I feel good about that. Let's go ahead. What about the peppers? Who likes, what's your favorite pepper? We talked about it earlier. My favorite pepper is the red pepper. That's my favorite pepper. I like, I like the green peppers too. I like them all. I like them. Let's smile at them. What about the kiwi? My favorite fruit. This is my favorite fruit of all time. I love the kiwi. It reminds me of being in the Navy, eating kiwis on the ship. Good memory. I like carrots too. They say carrots are good for your eyes. Right? Is that truth? What do you think? What do you think about the carrots with the carotene? And then we got last up is tomatoes. Who likes tomatoes? That's my friend Captain Todd's favorite. All right, nice job. And again, one more time, let's put on a frown and go. Mm. And then one time, let's go ahead and do the home alone face. But when we're doing the home alone face, I want you to think about being home alone. And instead of making some unhealthy food because nobody's looking, you say, you know what? I'm going to eat some good healthy foods, even though nobody's looking. Makes me hungry. I'm getting so hungry. I got my apple here. I'm excited for that. Let's go ahead and we are going to talk about what we're going to do next is a perfect time is our halfway point. If you need to have a sip of water, get your sip of water. If you want to get a activity item today, there's going to be two items you would want to have. One of them would be a weight. I have a kettlebell. This is a sandy kettlebell. I know Bernie has a kettlebell and you might have a kettlebell or any kind of weight. The other item would be a stick or some type of object to where maybe like this wooden stick, you could do a baton spin. We could bring this up and behind our head and, um, and we can do exercises with this, maybe even the back stretch. Uh, if you don't have a stick, maybe have like a yardstick, something like that. Maybe an umbrella. All right. We've done this workout with an umbrella before. Um, if you don't have any of that, you can do it with your imagination. And I'm also going to show you how we can do those moves. And if you do it with your imagination, I want you to really concentrate, even if it means you're moving a little bit slower uh, than like myself or Bernie. Don't worry about that. I want you to really think about those moves. And if you use your imagination, again, I'll show you how it's going to be done. So everybody, today I named the workout. I think I named it like Bernie's Magical Workout or something like that, Bernie's Wonderful Workout. And we're going to give it a great name, that's for sure. Because today I got inspired by Nick doing Coach Emily's workout. I thought that was just really, really cool. And I love seeing our leaders. I love watching Nick and working out with Byron and following along. And I know some of you have noticed not only a big difference in, in Nick and his strength, 
but also in Byron and his creativity and the way that he puts his workouts together. None of that's talked about. That's Byron's imagination. And I want all of you to feel like you can contribute your creativity to this team. Bernie's typing something in right now. She's like, Coach John, I'm feeling creative. So Bernie, I was feeling creative too. And let me tell you what we're going to do today, Bernie. We're going to do your workout, but we're all going to do it. So Bernie, what, what I want you to do is I'm going to, I want to go first and I want you, do you want to go after everybody tries to do your workout or do you want to go to show everybody the workout? Shoot. What do you think that was, Ben? You want to go at the end and, and then do the breathing motto at the end? And to, and to finish off with your with your version, or do you want to go first and show everybody the workout? Because I I could go first and John, show. John, you want me to unmute her so she can tell her? Because I couldn't tell what she said. Let's do that. It's Bernie. I want to let Bernie make the choice. Bernie's name on the workout. You want to be first? Yeah. Okay. All right, everybody. So Bernie's going to come up first, and she's going to do her workout routine. After that, we're going to have a water break. Then I think I'm going to do her workout routine, but I'm going to do it with imagination. I'm going to show you how you can do all the moves with imagination. Then after me, we're going to have Byron and Nick come up. And, and guys, what I want you to do is I want you to do Bernie's routine. We're going to try to even maybe do maybe all, all the same exercises. Uh, if you want to do the same numbers, you can even do the same amount of numbers. But um, We'll talk about it. Bernie, you're up. You get to lead. This is your day leading your workout. We're going to follow you. And then we're going to try our best to be a, a team leader just like yourself. All right. She's getting unmuted. We're having a sip of water and a deep breath. All right. Ooh, that's some good water. I see a lot of smiles on people's faces. Again, so happy everybody could be joining us today. Hey, Tim. So happy you're here, my friend, Tim. Great job, buddy. Nick's in the house. We got Lori Lee. We got Lenny and Terry. Are you ready, Bernie? How many are we going to do? Marilyn? 55. All right. Sarah's in the house. Here we go. Get ready, Sarah. Here we go. Bernie's bringing it. All right. Here we go, Bernie. Giving us the countdown. Five, four. Three, two, one, jumpy jacks. Make sure you're in a good, safe space to do jumpy jacks. If you got to move something, you can. Hey, Bernie, that's a cool tie-dye shirt. That's coming from Karen. And ball of energy, let's go. Yep, remember to breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50, 51, 52, 53. Yeah, John, 54 and 55. Woo -wee. I'm feeling that in my trapezius, my deltoids. Also, we're feeling that great heartbeat. Remember, Bernie's first exercise is a cardiovascular exercise. All right, Bernie's now going and getting the exercise stick. I happen to have a wooden stick here. I'm going to try to do her moves with this wooden stick. All right, Bernie's taking a deep breath. You got it. All right, here we go. And it's the baton spin. Two, so we got it moving. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, 
Ooh, turbo boosting at the end. Nice. Bernie's going for the back stretch up top. I'm going to go for the back stretch just kind of here. I'm just going to kind of lean down. Kind of rocking, just rocking forward. It's kind of giving me a good stretch in my shoulders. If I wanted to, I could maybe put this behind my back right here and kind of lean, lean down. Nice job, Bernie. There you go. All right. Last one with the stick. We're going over our head and behind our neck, bringing the stick up and over. And you can remember this one with the imagination. This is the, the W and the Y. You can see there's the Y. Nice job, Bernie. Good wide arms. That's the way to do it. My arms are a little closer together because this stick is only about maybe a foot and a half. But I'm still able to kind of reach it over the top. If I wasn't able to do that, I could do this with maybe one hand. Sometimes this is a great way to do this too. Anytime you have any kind of object around your, your face and your head, you're going to be aware. You're going to be really aware of that. And that can help you to train, to train those muscles. That move and that stick behind my head with just one hand, that is a great move. Again, if you're working on that development. All right, Bernie's switching over to her weight. I also have my weight. Oh my gosh, this is 10 pounds. If you don't have a weight, remember ball of energy is great. Oh yeah, you follow your routine. I like your routine. We all like your routine. All right, here we go. We're holding the weight and we're gonna go ahead and do a twist. I'm gonna do like a little twisty lift. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 19. Feeling that in my deltoids and trapezius quite a bit. All right, Bernie's got one more for us. The Statue of Liberty. Going down to the ground. We're going up, up, down, down, up, up. Three. There you go, Bernie. Counting loud and proud. Five. Bernie's showing one hand. You can also do this with two hands. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Woohoo. Eleven. Oh, that's some counting. Twelve. There you go. Thirteen. Like the national anthem. Thirteen. One more. Let's hold it high. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Statue of Liberty. Great job, Bernie. All right, now, like I said, today is all about Bernie's routine. Breathe Breathing at the end. I think that might be a good idea. We'll check in with our co-hosts, but again, Bernie has started us off to a wonderful start here. Um, starting off to a wonderful start. All right, let's go ahead now, have that sip of water. We are going to do those moves again. Sometimes when you're doing a workout, you are gonna pick a couple exercises, and you're going to do them a couple times during the workout. It's going to help our mind not only do this exercise with it being fresh in our mind, but it's also going to allow us to focus on little details, to feel the movement, and to really give our muscles kind of a real good stimulation uh, on what we're trying to accomplish with these movements. Remember, we have cardiovascular exercises. We have exercises where we're stretching and turning and exercises where we are lifting and moving. And so it's a great total body workout. Let's have a sip of water. Nice, we're at 1140. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do Bernie's routine again, but I'm not gonna do 55 jumping jacks. How many am I gonna do? So, yeah, I don't know, I do know. I said it earlier, I said 25. So. I'm gonna do 25, I'm gonna do the seated jacks. I'm gonna be going up and doing a clap kind of above my, uh, above my eyes is gonna be my goal. I might not get all the way up over my head and that's okay. 
the idea from the jacks is more about getting that cardiovascular, getting that repetition, that pattern going. And once you get into a groove, you kind of keep it going. So let's go ahead, everybody. We're going to do 25 jumping jacks followed by the baton spin again. And this is our theme of the day. So let's get ready for round two of Bernie's workout. This time, I'm going to try my best. Bernie, let me know what you think about how I did. Here we go. Deep breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty, twenty one. 22, 23, 24, 25. All right. Now I'm going to do the baton spin, but I'm not going to do it with the baton. I'm not going to do it with anything. I'm just going to use my imagination. Now, if you've seen me baton spinning, you've seen how I use my hands. I kind of grab it. So I'm just going to imagine that that's what I'm doing. You can do the baton or you can imagine with me. Here we go. We're going to go 25. Or is it 30? So 25, I think it's 25. Here we go. 25 in three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just using your imagination. Seven. Or use a real baton. Eight. Nine. I'm gonna go with my fingertips kind of. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Let's switch directions. Here we go. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17. Oh, I found a pattern. 18. Look at the pattern. I found it. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right. Next up, I'm going to put my imaginary bar behind my back. I'm going to put my hands on my hips. I'm going to do the back stretch. With the back stretch, I call it the superhero chest. It's when you have your chest kind of like you have a superhero like logo on it and you're trying to like shine it out into like the air for everybody to see. All right, here we go. So we're going to go down and we're kind of keeping our head up and our uh, superhero chest up. And then up, there's one. We're going down and then you go right out of the screen. Hello. And then back up. Bring it down all the way up, up. Yeah, my eyes look so green in the screen. I got hazel eyes. They always look... Different colors. Here we go down. They look real green right now. And back up. Let's go one more of these. And bringing it down, bringing it down. And then back up. Nice job. All right. Now for the behind the back exercise, we talked about it. It's the Y and W. So let's go ahead. We're going to do, what was it? It was 10. Got 10 of these to go up and over our head behind our neck. If you're using an exercise stick like Bernie was, you can be doing that again. You don't have to do imagination if you have the equipment. Or you can because it's fun. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. Y, W, Y, kind of down to your down to your legs. We're gonna call it A. So we go Y, W, Y, A. Y, W, Y, A. Nice, Karen. Y, W, Y, A. That's five. Y, W, Y, six. Here we go. Y. W behind the neck, up again to the Y, and then back down for seven. Y behind the neck, back up, back down for eight. Y, W, Y. Oh, keep it going for nine. We're almost there. And then up and down and up and down. All right. Two more to go. If you need to have a sip of water, go ahead and have a sip of water. It's always okay. Next one's going to be using the weight or... A ball of energy. It could be heavy or it could be light. You can just hold it here. It's very small. So remember with your ball of energy, the first one we're going to do is a twist. I like to do the twisty reach. I'm going to twist up and I'm going to reach up here to the broccoli and I'm going to reach up here towards that kiwi. I'm going to try to get those. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right. Last one. This is Bernie's routine is the Statue of Liberty. Let's go ahead. We got to get our torches. Remember, if you had your exercise stick or your weight, you reach down to the ground and kind of light the fire and then you reach it up for everybody to see the torch like the Statue of Liberty. I'm going to do that with my imagination. Here we go. So I got my torch. I'm going to go ahead and reach down, light the torch and then reach up and one. I'm going to switch hands. I'm going to reach down and now reach up and two. Switch hands and reach up for three. And I'm switching hands. I'm actually handing off the torch. I don't want to drop it. Reach down and up four, four. Who's ever seen that in the Olympics? Down when they got the torch up four, five and somebody's carrying it and then they drop it down and then up for number six. But I think they keep an extra extra torch on standby up four, seven. So the Olympic flame never goes down, bringing it down, bringing it up for eight, reaching down. Reaching up for nine, getting our body kind of nice and twisting a little bit here. Up for 10. We got five more down. And Nick and uh, Byron, you guys get ready. You're up next. Here we go. Up for 12. We got to do the same routine. Let's see how you guys can do 13. Maybe take turns. Maybe one of you, maybe Nick lead the jumping jacks. 14. Here we go. Up for 15. Byron can lead the stick flow and then Nick can lead the weights. We could maybe do that. Keep holding it up. Here we go. Five, four. Three, two, and one. All right, everybody. What do you think about that idea, everybody? I think that could work out. Maybe Nick, and we'll bring you and Byron. We can bring you and Byron both up. Um, but we could have you lead the jumping jacks. We could have Byron do the baton spin, the the back stretch, and the other exercise, the um, behind the neck over the head. And then, and then Nick, you could do the the weighted exercise like that are you guys ready for this this is all new this is something we've never done before and on friday we'll have you guys come up and, and share your your creative workouts with us but i think today it's a neat this is a neat tribute to bernie and we're going to do the jumping jacks first and that's going to be led by nick byron if you want to do the seated jacks you can do seated jacks too if you want to do the, the seated jacks using the chair, and Nick's going to be standing up. And how many are we going to do? What, what do you think, Nick? How many are we going to do on the jumping jacks? They do. They do. 45. 45. All right. Okay. Nick, Nick's going to be leading us in the jumping jacks. Byron will be leading us in the stick exercise coming up next. And uh, it looks like, Byron, are you going to use your sandbag with the jumping jacks? Yeah, oh, yeah, I can do that, too. Ooh, all right. Look at that. Byron's going to be doing something special. He's going to be having his sandbag moving, and Nick's going to be doing the jumping jacks. Here we go. Nick, give us a countdown. 45 jumping jacks. Oh, I am. Five. Boom. Four. Three. Two. One. Go. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Nice job, guys. Six. Here we go. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Get those arms moving. Eighteen. There we go, everybody. Nineteen and twenty. Bringing them up. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27. Look at Byron switching hands. 28. Nice job, Byron. 29. And 30. There you go. Nick did a hand switch too. 31. We're almost there. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. 41. 42, 43, 44, one more, and 45. Oh, my gosh, and did you see these guys adding in the flair? Look at those moves. Nick with a behind-the-back weighted jack. Byron's doing – he's got the hot potato jack going. Everybody, grab your exercise bar. Grab your resistance bar. I know these guys got – they got 10-pound exercise bar. 
And Byron, let's have you lead us with the baton spin, the back stretch, and the over the head behind the neck. Let's do same the same amount as Bernie. Let's go ahead and do, we'll do 30 baton spins. That, that's a lot, but that's, you're real good at baton spins. We'll do 30 baton spins, and then we'll do 10 of the other one. Here we go. Oh, Bernie wants to have a water break, everybody. Let's. If you need to have a sip of water, go ahead. We have time. <laughs> Everybody, we are doing Bernie's workout right now. We have two of our team leaders up, and they're not doing their moves right now. They're doing Bernie's moves, just like Nick was doing Coach Emily's meditation the other day. It was incredible. These two guys right here, you got Nick and Byron. You got two team leaders who are also – Students, they learn from each other, and I'm learning from them right now. So get ready. We're going for Bernie's baton spin done by Byron. And three, two, and one. Let's go for it, Byron. We got 30 to go. There's one, two, three, four, five. Look at Nick. Six is in Alaska. Seven, eight, nine. There you go. Ten. There you go, Byron. Eleven. Look at the moves. Twelve, thirteen. Nice job, Kerry. Fourteen, fifteen. Oh, he switched it up. 16, 17. He went the other direction now. 18, 19. There you go, Nick. 20, 21. Here we go, guys. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and resting. Nice job. Byron, look at that. Moves. Next up, we have the back stretch for five reps. You can see Bernie's doing it with us too she's on her screen byron's doing the back stretch got the stick behind the back nick's there with us too nice job nick with the back behind the lower back great job nick you can smile about that you can feel good about that man all right you guys uh, byron go ahead. let's go five back stretch and we're bringing it down remember you're going to stick out your butt and you're going to bend your knees and we're just lowering down towards the ground and the stick behind the back it's going to help give us a nice support kind of help keep our our body nice and stable nice job byron he's going for number three right there stretching out the hamstrings and the glutes good job everybody on here number four from byron and he's got one more number five here it comes number five on the back stretch great job byron all right now we go oh and he's doing an encore bonus he's going for six he's going for another one he's bringing number seven everybody he might go to ten Let's see what we're doing here. He's got a he's got a back stretch. He's feeling it. That's what's happening. It feels good. He's saying, I'm going for a little bit more. It's like when you want extra something at, you know, at the table and you can have it because you earned it. All right, Byron, we're going to go over the head and behind the neck. And that one, I think we're going to do, I think we go for 10 of those. And that's going to just go up over the head and then bringing it down behind the neck. And then there you go. Bringing it up and down. There's one. Nice job. It is cold. Nick needs a jacket. There we go. And two. Bringing it down. Nice job. And remember, with this one, the wider your arms go. Byron, see if you move your arms out a little further towards the end. There you go. Now try that same move out. Going up over and back. Does that feel a little different? You do the one that feels good for you. Bringing it up. There you go. It is right up there on top of your head. Nice job. That was five. We got five more to go. Number six. Nice job, Byron. There you go. There you go, Nick. Nick's going to be leading us number seven in the weights. Remember, with the weights, we got the twisty lift and the Statue of Liberty. These are Bernie's moves, but we're doing Bernie's workout today. Bernie leaded it off with the first one. We got two more to go. We're going up over the head and bringing it down. Nice job, Byron. There we go. And one more. Byron and Nick are doing a great job with this. Remember, that's a 10-pound bar, and relax for a moment. Great job, Byron. Excellent moves. Go ahead, and let's grab our weight. I know you guys got sandbags, so you can use the sandbag for the, the weight. And, Nick, we got just a few minutes to go, so we got time for this. If you got a kettlebell, you can use your kettlebell, too. And let's see, Nick, I keep talking about you being cold, Nick, because your screen is, is freezing up every, every once in a while. You're frozen right now, but you're in a good squat position. All right, Nick's got his weight. Let's go ahead and I'll call it out. I got my weight too. We're going to go side to side with the twisty lift for 20. Here we go. And one, 
two, three. There you go, Nick. Four. There you go, Byron. Five, six. Strong ground stance. Seven. There you go. Eight. Strong feet on the ground. That's it, Nick. Nine. Using your toes. Ten. Your toes are strong. You got to treat them strong. There you go. Twelve. There you go. Thirteen. That's what you want to happen. Fourteen. Because then you're going to get stronger from it. Fifteen. Be happy when it happens. Sixteen. Use those toes. Seventeen. Here we go, guys. Eighteen. We're almost there. Nineteen. And 20. Excellent job, everybody. Now, oh. Byron just did a nice, nice move there, Byron. I like it. All right, Nick, here we go. Statue of Liberty. We got, we got four minutes. Oh, my gosh, Nick, look at this guy. He's got two weights. Let's go, Nick, down to the ground, up to the sky 15 times. Let's reach it real high. We're going down. There he goes. He's going one. Down. Two, there you go, Byron, down. Nice job, Nick, doing alternating. Three, and then a double combo. Four, Nick's got the moves. He's got two kettlebells. Five, and six, going for a number seven. There you go, Byron. There you go, Nick, number eight. Keep it going. Bernie's doing it, too. Number nine, keep it going. We got five more to go. Here we go. We got we to gotta bring her back up. For the end here, keep going, guys. 10, here we go. Keep going. 11, keep going. Work out with the Bernie. Keep going to the finish. 12, finish is strong with the guys. Here we go. 13, this is your workout. 14, nice job. Here we go. Hold it up high. And let's do the countdown. Here we go, everybody. Holding it up high for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was awesome. That was great. That was so much fun, everybody. Again, that's what this is all about. Learning from our friends, getting excited about our workouts and sharing our strengths. Uh, remember everybody on the TrueFit Adaptive Fitness app, we're going to have a new June challenge. So get on the app. And the group is now open for June's workout challenge. This is going to be the biggest challenge that we've ever done. We've been trying to work on our, our raffles and get this really dialed in, but we are getting close. And in June, it's going to be terrific. So get on the app, sign up on that. It's the June challenge group. And you will, again, unlock some badges. You'll be able to win some prizes in the month of June. Everybody, again, what a terrific workout. This was Bernie's workout challenge day we did bernie's workout three times we got three times in and i'm really proud of that and our warm-up remember when we do those exercises and we get in that repetition it's real good for our minds and our bodies to make those connections i saw a couple of you uh, including one of our co-hosts carrie doing an outstanding job when we were on our third set it was terrific. I felt like Carrie, she also could have been leading the workout. We just, we got some really good progress being made by a lot of folks. It's super great. I'm so glad everybody's on here. Galaxy S22, Jorge, the Sulpizio Center, Brandon, Karen, Sarah, Nancy, everybody on YouTube, make sure you're liking and subscribing. Um, again, Sulpizio Center really bringing some great energy. Uh, let's do that breathing motto. And uh, what do you think, Ben? We're gonna we're gonna bring her back. Up to have Bernie, right, guys? I love, I love it. All right, everybody. It was Bernie's workout day, so this just makes sense. All right, Bernie and Karen and Carrie and Ben. Great job co-hosting. Let's have that sip of water. We always have time for water. Never never be in too much of a hurry to to not have some water. Do not do not do that. All right. Always time for a sip of water. Take it away, Bernie. We were so far away. That's why. In five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in a good. Breathe in a bad. Breathe in a happy. Breathe in a sad. Breathe in a bad. It never works. Be your power. So you reach your goals first. That's great job, Bernie. Bernie, did you like watching everybody do your workout today? 
blanket. Yes. yes, nice job, everybody. Look at that, look at that smile. Great job again from Bernie. Great job from all of you. Make sure again, uh, get on the app and get on the YouTube and watch those old videos and workouts. It is incredible. Um, again, great job to everybody. Here we go. Nick, you want to give us a, give us a, uh, Nick, Nick got to jump off. All right, we're going to get the countdown going. Nick's going to do the countdown. I know that's what he wants to give us a countdown. Nick, count it down. You ready? <coughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1.